Thank you. Now, more on the coronavirus outbreak in China. An estimated 300 British people are still in Wuhan. We can talk now to Ian Thompson. He's from Nuneaton. He's lived in Wuhan for a year and a half and is currently at the airport waiting to be airlifted out by the American government. That's because he's got dual British-American citizenship. He's uh, currently in the waiting area at the Wuhan International Airport with a face mask on and joins us. Thank you very much for joining us. You're very welcome. Yes. So I assume you'll keep the face mask on for health purposes while speaking to us. Tell us what you have been going through this morning to get to the point where you are. Um, it's been a bit of a nightmare because I had to get, um, first of all, approvals from the US government to get on this flight. Then I had to get approvals to be able to drive from my location to the airport um, because the whole uh, road system out here is locked down and closed down. So I had to have uh, my passport and my letter for with me to be able to get through all the passport pass checks. Um, on the way here, I went through two medical checks on to just to get to the airport. I've just gone through a thermal scan as the first part, and as you can see now, this is the lineup for the medical scan lineup to go on for the medical chat check for the U.S. So you're coming out with the US teams because you've got this dual citizenship just yes. this morning here the foreign office um, we're hearing from the Prime Minister's official spokesperson is urgently exploring options now to help Britons in Wuhan and to finalize details to get them out had you been trying to get support from the British and how were you getting on with that if so um, I had been in contact with the embassy. Um, I tried two ways through the embassy. I mean, one through the UK embassy um, out here in Wuhan, and then also in the UK in Britain. But I also I worked for a short while out in Sweden, so I tried the, Swede the British embassy in Sweden too to, to cover all. Of them. But I got the same answer from each one: is that we're working on it. There's not a plan yet, but you know, keep 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 in touch. So. So you're going to go to Alaska and then you'll have to wait, make your way back home in Britain from there. And once you're in Alaska... Yeah, I go to Alaska, Alaska yep. first, then, then we fly into California. And I'll be held in California for a minimum of 72 hours. Um, they don't tell me, they're not telling us much on what's going to happen. Uh, we just know we're going to be in quarantine for 72 hours, uh, minimum. And then, then we'll be released and be able to fly where we want to go from there. People have been coming back to Britain on ordinary flights uh, while this has been underway. Did you try to do that? Well, the, the only way you can come out is um, to get, because I'm based in Wuhan, you can come back through Shanghai or Beijing, and I, but you, I have to be able to get from Wuhan to Shanghai or Beijing. And they close all the airports, all the trains, all buses. So there's actually no form of transport at all. So what's it been like being in Wuhan? Um, it's been pretty scary. I mean, it's, it's, we've been basically house, under house arrest, basically. You can't really go anywhere other than go to the store. Um, all restaurants, all bars, all places are just are closed down. So the only way you can get food is to the local supermarket that's open, um, which they're keeping stopped at the moment. But I'm not too sure how long that's going to last with the, the road closures and all the movement stops. And just very briefly, what is your view of how the British government's been handling this? What would you say to the British government? Well, I think they probably need to get a little faster and working something out here. I mean, it's, I, mean I, I believe it's not easy to do. I mean, I know the Chinese government's very hard to work with on these because they, they are locking down everything. But uh, I think uh, if the US can manage to do it, then I think the British government should at least be able to do the same thing for the people out here. Ian Thompson, good luck getting home. Thank you very much.